that. There we go. It is 6.50 a.m. I set my alarm for 6, but I was exhausted, so I'm just now getting up, and now I'm going to have to sit in rush hour traffic. But spend the next, I don't know how many hours, but 12 plus hours with me as a PhD student. My Alexa wakes me up. It wakes me up at whatever time, like today, 6 a.m. It'll do its little buzzer sound. It tells me the weather for the day. Um, it tells me the Bitcoin price of the day, and then it plays... 15 minutes of gospel music. So that's really what gets me up is like the music because I can't sleep through music. I can sleep through an alarm, but I can't sleep through music. So it's a good it's a good trick to try. I use gospel music because it just helps start my day. But um, let's get ready for the day. The last two things I have to do before I leave because I really don't eat breakfast until closer to noon. I have to put my food in the crock pot. My chicken's already thawed. My, my sauce is here to season the chicken, throw in the peppers that I cut up last night, and then I make my green tea. I love green tea. It's a great alternative to coffee. Coffee, yes, I said it like that because I'm from Jersey. And no, it was not forced. Do not try to say it was forced. Um, I make my green tea to go. I'm gonna try to do all this in less than five minutes. snacks packed the night before. Cute little thing I want to talk about real quick and then I'll talk more about it later. I have a mini crock pot, a mini crock pot that I'm taking with me because I have soup that I want to heat up in my crock pot. I'm trying to get away from microwaves. So I'm going to put it in my mini crock pot, but I'm going to put it in my lunch bag for now and whip it out, show you guys later. And I have my mic because I don't think it's windy today, but just in case I want to make sure that my sound sounds good if I am going to be getting some content outside. All right. Let's go sit in 35 minute rush hour traffic. I barely go to campus and this is one of the reasons why. Also because I don't like seeing people. at least this may not seem like a lot but I can already know that this one's gonna take at least minimum an hour this one will probably take an hour or two this will be 15 minutes so I'm probably gonna start on that first um, this probably will not get finished today but I have to at least start working on it also will not get finished today but I have to start working on it also will not get finished today but I have to start working on it and this has to get finished at least by tonight so it may just seem like oh light day and like oh I only have two things but most of the time the stuff that I start it's because I'm starting it so that way when it's actually due which two of these things are not due until next week 
when it's actually due I'm not scramming last minute and I hate going to meetings unprepared and by unprepared let me feel the camera on. by unprepared I simply mean like going into a meeting and not feeling like how do I word this not feeling like I can clearly communicate what I have been doing the work I've been working on or what I read um I don't know it's something that I build as a PhD student but it's something I kind of want to start mastering now because I just I mm, mm. as a black woman in a predominantly white field I I refuse to be the butt of a joke and I'm not saying that that is how people view me all the time but I am not going to be in there being the least competent or the least competent of the room or of the Zoom room, whatever, if we're doing virtual. The, the one who's the most unprepared, that's, I refuse. So if I have to start working on things a week prior, two weeks prior, if I have to create a whole script of what I'm going to say during that meeting with ad libs or with, not ad libs, but with side notes of like, here's what to say if somebody asks this or here's what to say if somebody asks that, then that's me. Then that's just me. Overprepared, I guess you can say. That's just how I like to approach things. Today specifically, I am choosing or aiming to have a 12 plus hour work day because I want to get all this stuff off my plate. I hate having to write or I don't want to say I hate but I get annoyed when I just think there are some things, some tasks in life, some deadlines that you yes you can spend hours and days working on it like some of the things that I choose to but then there are other things that's like you can easily knock it out in 30 minutes it may not be your best work but if it's something you don't have to present it's just something you have to send off just get it out the way as I was saying the goal is to knock out most of the stuff today overwork my butt off today and then catch up on a little bit of stuff tomorrow because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am not working. So let's get this work started. So it's almost noon and I am starting to get hungry. I have some soup here. I'm going to um, let it heat up in my crock pot, which I think takes about 30 minutes. Um, I, this is my first time actually using this thing so it does not have like a heat setting for like low medium or high it just has one setting power light is on so now I'm gonna put my soup in there hopefully it doesn't overflow so there is my soup I'm going to put the lid on it and then this lid and I'm gonna actually close it and like I said I'm gonna monitor it but I'm gonna let it cook for 30 minutes and see where it's at hours into my 12 plus hours of working i'm exhausted so far um mentally i am worn out i'm not sleepy even though i am yawning a lot but now it's time for me to go to pilates so pilates is 45 minutes i have a one and a half hour break so 45 minute pilates and then the time it takes me to get to and from pilates but i'm gonna finish out the finish out the rest of my day at home and cross my fingers that I don't get lazy or get too sleepy because that's something that happens sometimes 
when I'm at home is I'll get lazy or I'll get sleepy. So, but yeah, I am worn out and it's only 2.30, I'm tired. You can move your pole. It should be on your left side. Okay, you can move your pole. just got in it smells so good it smells like crock pop chicken um but like i said i still have a couple not a couple i still have a lot of more hours of work to do so it's currently 4 30 um technically i think i am going to go ahead and eat dinner now i prefer to eat dinner around five six o'clock i'm gonna eat dinner now um and then i'm going to work and fingers crossed I can get my work done within six hours so that way I can be in bed before midnight. So let's do the second half of this work. I should have never ate dinner. Um, it's almost six o'clock. I am really freaking exhausted, you guys. And the good news is the two things I need to do, one of them I accidentally, like, it's really not due tomorrow. It's due Friday. So I'm like, okay, I can do that tomorrow. I don't have to do it today. But the one thing that I absolutely have to do today, it is being so slow right now. It's just like, not, my hair looks crazy. I look bald headed. it. Um, it's just being so slow. And I don't know what to do at this point because it's like, I'm very sleepy. Now I'm sleepy. Now I'm like, okay, now I want to get in bed and go to sleep. I technically have been up for almost 12 hours which isn't long at all most people are up for like what a lot longer but i'm i'm just exhausted so i don't know how this is gonna go we'll see It is almost midnight and I'm calling it a wrap. I finished phase one, the one that should have took me three hours, so pretty much took it longer than three hours. Um, I finished that. So that's good, good for me. But like I said, I still have two other phases to do that will take hours. So I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna get eight hours of sleep tonight wake up 8, 8.30, and I'll just finish what I can in three hours. But this was a hectic day. I hope to never do this again, but knowing my life, I'll probably do this again next month because this is like pretty much a monthly thing where they pile crap onto me last minute or let me be transparent. When I get a crap load of assignments, like I always do, but I decide I want to take a break for myself, and then I realize, oh crap, you can't take a break unless you finish this work and get ahead of the work that's due next week, because this pile of crap that they gave you will never be diminished until way after you graduate, so... Yeah, you can't take a break unless you want to fall behind and then get roasted for being behind, so... Yeah, I hope to never do this again, but I'm pretty sure it will happen again next month. Thanks for rocking with me for this 12 plus hour work day. So let me think. I started at 8.30 until 3. That's like an hour and a half break. So what's that? 8 to 3 is, no, 8 to 2.30. Sorry, not 3. 8 to 2.30. Um, my brain is so fried. Six and a half hours? And I start again at six. So I did 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Not bad. 